Hello, this is Joe Applebaum, CEO of Ajax Union and founder of Evie AI. And today I want to show you how I scrape this influencer's posts using make.com and some APIs. So as you can see, I have him on a list of influencers here. So I have a full list. Of, I'm collecting a list of influencers to determine information like their posting frequency, their industry, how high their engagement is what level they're at so this guy over here he's over a million and he has very high engagement so i'm going to say very high um okay and then he is a male and he's based in canada okay so i have this guy based in canada his name is strati here's his linkedin so we need to grab his linkedin name his like linkedin the end of his linkedin url and what we're going to do is we're going to put it into make.com. So why am I scraping this guy? Why am I analyzing his 50 posts? Is because look at this. Look at this. 300,000 likes. So I need to figure out what the heck is he doing? Like how is he getting all this stuff over here? Like who gets 300,000 likes on a post? Like even, even like Gary Vaynerchuk. If you take a look at Gary Vaynerchuk's post, I'm going to go to here to Gary Vaynerchuk. And I'm going to go to his recent posts. Gary Vaynerchuk's not getting uh, 300,000 likes on his posts. He's getting like, you know, a 1,000 likes, 2,000 likes, whatever. You know, like he has five times the amount of followers and he's not getting that. So I, I want to see what this guy's doing. And I know he's using viral stuff. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to see where it says username. I'm just going to add his username here, and I'm going to press OK. And what this is going to do is I'm just going to run this. Oh, I'm going to run the whole thing. I'm going to go to the bottom, click this blue button, and this is going to run a scraper um, that does not use my cookie. So I finally found a scraper that doesn't use my cookie. It converts it into a JSON file, as you can see here, which it has a collection of every single one of his posts. Um, it does 50 at a time, so I could do every post he has, but I'll do 50. And then I have an iterator that basically breaks it into little bundles here, so I could put each one in a different row. And then I took all 50 and put them all into one into each row into this spreadsheet right here. So if I go down to the spreadsheet, now there's all of Strati's posts here. Look at this. And I can see total reactions, total likes, total comments. So I'm going to go down over here. I'm going to find one that has a lot. Let's see, this one here is 3,600. So this one has like three times more than his average. This one has 4,200. Look at that. So I'm going to find the ones that have a lot and kind of take a look at them and see what's going on here. All right, so I saw that 4,200, the 3,600. We're going to review those real quick. Those are his top posts of his top 50. And you can see how many times he's posting in a day. Look at this, six, six hours, nine hours, 12 hours, 16 hours. So every three hours he's posting. It seems like every three to four hours, and he's doing it one, two, three, four, five times a day. So you see consistently one, two, three, four, five times a day. One, two, three, four. Over here, he did it three times. One, two, three, four, five. Over here, he did it five, five times. Okay, so he's doing it five times a day, and he's pretty consistent. And um, I can also analyze to see who's leaving the comments, but we're going to go here to this to his 4200, this one here. And let's take a look at the actual post. So the post URL is right here. Let's just load up that post. And I actually have all the text of the post. But let's see over here. Very, very little amount of text. End July and big win by channeling. And big win. Maybe he meant win big. And July with a big win. Oh, okay. By channeling your passion, resilience, and vision to create unparalleled success around you. Okay. And then you got 4,000 likes for that. Hmm. All right. Strategy, channeling your passion, resisting the vision is indeed blah, blah, blah. Okay. Let's look at all these comments. These fingers crossed. Thanks for sharing. So this is a little inspiration he's sharing over here. Okay. So I wonder if I take this exact post and I post it. And I say, you will end July with a big win. And I post it. Let's just see if, if it goes viral. 
<laughs> if I get 4,000 likes on that, I doubt it. I doubt I'll get it. But look, he, he, he got 144 reposts on that. So let's let's see. Let's see what happens. So you can take posts like this that are doing really well for other people, and you can see if it does well for real, for you. Let's look at this one over here. This one over here got... Let's look for the other one for th with 3,000. All right, let's look at this one here and analyze this one. Okay, this one over here just says, Embrace joy in every moment, for the future is uncertain, and each day is a precious gift to be cherished. Be happy, you never know how much time you have left. Okay, all right. Over here she wrote, Choose your battles wisely. Okay, look at that. Thank you for the post. Life turns in a dime. I remember when my late husband died, blah, blah, blah. Okay, wow. I wondered how the bread in his tuna sandwich was still so fresh. There's still bubbles in his Pepsi. Wow. Okay. What was that post for 350000 Let's go back over here and just take a look. 350,000 likes, a record. Oh, he just wrote, elevate the right people. Really short. When you promote the wrong people, you begin to lose your best people. And then you got 300,000 likes on that. Oh, because look how many reposts he got. He got 23,000 people to repost that. So people repost these little things. I'm going to try it. I, most of my posts are really, really big. I'm going to try to just make some short posts and see if it does well based on this research that I'm doing over here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all his posts and I'm going to drop it into Claude. And I'm going to say the following. Let's see what I'm going to say. I'm going to pull this. Every day offers a new opportunity. I'm going to take all his posts. So I'm going to take his 50 posts. Copy them. I'm going to go into Claude. Claude AI. And I'm going to say, analyze these 50 posts from a LinkedIn influencer and tell me what they have in common that makes them go viral okay and then i paste it and this is what it does this is what claw is going to do so i'm analyzing its 50 posts from this linkedin influencer positive mindset and motivation concise impactful language universal appeal call to action use of emojis and hashtags Authenticity and vulnerability, future oriented thinking, spiritual holistic elements, contrarian perspectives. He challenges the conventional wisdom. Shareability, engagement, bait, aspirational content, emotional resonance, universality, quotability, timelessness. Okay, authenticity and inspirational tone. Okay. Can you create. 10 posts that have the same virality as these posts and keep it short. All right, let's just see what it does. Here's 10 posts. All right, it's going to generate right now. Oh, look at that. It's generating 10 new posts just like that. Beautiful. Okay, good to know. So th this is like... This is like what you can do if you want to be able to reverse engineer what someone else is doing and then just use artificial intelligence to redo it. So if you're wondering what the process is, I'm going to give you the process right here. First, you got to get a scraper. There's lots of scrapers available. You get a scraper and you do an API call and you just put the username in there. Then you take the scraped data that you get, which is just going to be one block of data here, you see? I'm going to click on data. It's just one big block of data. And you take that scraped data and you put it into a JSON. A JSON, essentially, it's like you know data that's structured in a very specific way where you get all the data organized over here. So this is called, you takes that big chunk and chunks it into little pieces. And then it takes the JSON and then you iterate it into a way that it can just put it into many cells. And then I drop it into cells, just like that. Just four steps. Step one, two, three, four. And there you go. That's your LinkedIn scraper. And then you build out the whole spreadsheet. I had to build this whole spreadsheet out with columns and rows. 
And then I had to test it out several times to make sure that it worked. And now it works. And now you can do your research. How cool is that? Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you like it. And let me know if you want to see my list of followers. Boom.